So I want to talk about something that I was thinking about the past couple days or so. Um, a trade I was thinking that the Packers should potentially make. You already know who I'm talking about because you saw the title of this video. But the NFL trade deadline is coming up in the next few weeks. I believe it's November 2nd is the NFL trade deadline. And so with that happening, I've been thinking about potential trades the Packers could possibly make. Right now we're sitting at about, I think, $5.9 million when it comes to salary cap space. So we do have a little bit of wiggle room to potentially come in here and sign someone to this team to take us over the top. And if you guys have yet to subscribe, you want to see more Packers content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. And I think there's definitely lots of positions we could potentially go out there and target. You know, maybe cornerback considering our injuries there, even though we did just sign two cornerbacks in the past couple weeks. So maybe that wouldn't make sense now. But I think there are a few different positions that could possibly make sense. And so the reason that I think the Packers should trade for Brandon Cooks, a wide receiver, I just think that it's a kind of signing that would just take this offense over the top. There's no question. The Packers still, I'd say, have, you know, one of the best offenses in the NFL. Just taking a look at this entire situation, um, I think if you take a look back last year to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the move they made bring in Antonio Brown, I think moves like that are just kind of moves that just set you up to, to, to make deep playoff runs. Obviously, he's not the sole reason that they are doing well. But I think when you can come in there and give, you know, one of the elite quarterbacks another top talent, another top tier um, receiver, bring it, bring that kind of guy to the team, I think it just takes the, the offense over the top. Because just imagine this Packers team. We already have Devontae Adams, who has been balling out, especially with MVS out the past couple weeks on the IR. Um, but just imagine another guy on the outside there, like Brandon Cooks, someone who has been really dominant this year, even though he's been on a Texans team that is not good at all. If we take a look at his stats right here, if I flip open my computer to the area where I wrote my stats down, as I typically do, where is it? So, so far this season, Brandon Cooks has 31 receptions, 392 yards, and one touchdown. If we take a look at all those games in particular, the first couple games he was playing with Tyrod Taylor, five receptions. 132 yards in his first game. In the past three games, he has been playing with rookie third-round draft pick for the Texans, um, Davis Mills, who has been throwing him the ball, and he's been okay at times. But considering Brandon Cooks has still been able to put up numbers and has still been able to be you know, a top wide receiver, ranked 19th by PFF overall, imagine what he would do on the Green Bay Packers with Aaron Rodgers because Tyrod Taylor and Davis Mills definitely aren't, I'd say, upper echelon quarterbacks, or they're not, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not the best quarterbacks in the NFL. So if Brandon Cooks will go to the team like the Packers, who have Aaron Rodgers, I think that his stats could take an even higher climb. So just imagine out there, you have Devontae Adams on one side, you bring in Brandon Cooks to the potentially other side, you got Randall Cobb in there, you sub in MBS, put him in there at times as well. I think it makes Devontae Adams that much more dangerous because lots of teams have to come in there and double Devontae Adams, and it still doesn't work. But when they do that, it's going to leave guys open on the other side. So bringing a talent like Brandon Cooks, who has that ability to get open, who has that ability to get separation, also a deep threat as well. I think it just makes this Packers offense that much harder to stop. And I, and I think for the Packers, um, the offense does, definitely doesn't need a, a weapon to be successful. We've already seen them be successful without adding wide receiver weapons. And in the past couple of years, the past couple of seasons, um, especially, you know, 2020, the idea was the Packers need to add some more weapons for Aaron Rodgers. That was talked about for a long, long time. And we did add a weapon this year, bringing in Randall Cobb, which I think was a smart move. He's been, um, he's been productive, especially in crucial moments, especially in that game versus the Bengals, um, last week setting up the Mason Crosby field goal. But I just think if we can add another guy to take this offense even more over the top, I think it could just be a, a solid move and make this Packers offense that much more dangerous, that much harder to stop. And then if we take a look at this move from a salary cap perspective, I was looking through the entire like wide receiver ranks, like looking at tons of different wide receivers, trying to think, okay, which wide receiver trade could potentially make sense? Because there are definitely lots of other guys that I would rather have than Brandon Cooks. But lots of them are on, you know, competitive teams, teams that probably wouldn't trade away one of their top wide receivers. And lots of these other, other guys have cap numbers that the Packers would have trouble um, trading for and bringing that guy in. And while I think it could make sense with Brandon Cooks, first off, he's been a talented wide receiver so far this season with, you know, pretty, pretty bad quarterback play. Um, he only has a $5.58 million cap number for the 2021 season. And with the Packers having about $6 million in cap space, he could fit here on this Packers team and they wouldn't really have to do anything um, when it comes to the cap space. So he would work for the cap space. And so I think that's one of the reasons that this, this move could make. He's a talented wide receiver. We have enough cap space to make the move happen. And then, of course, the Texans, the team we'd be trading with, 
I mean, they're not competitive. They probably just want some more draft picks for the future. So the Packers, imagine giving them, I don't know, a draft pick or two, maybe, I don't know what he would be worth, maybe a fourth round, fifth round, something like that. Offer the Texans that, um, you know, trade those away to, to them for the Texans who are, just aren't competing for anything really right now. Bring Brandon Cooks to a roster, a team that is going to be competing, you know, to, to go deep in the playoffs, have a deep playoff run, give Aaron Rodgers another weapon. But let me know if you guys like this idea, if you guys like this potential trade the Packers could make to bring in Brandon Cooks. I could also see other positions that could work. You know, maybe we bring in another defensive player, edge rusher, defensive lineman, lots of other things could work, but I think wide receiver, it could be smart. Just just take this offer to offense over the top. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. It just really helps push the video out to a bigger audience. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my second channel on NFL News, NFL Rumors, all things NFL, go subscribe to that one as well. I just put out a video on the uh, new Zach Ertz trade to the Arizona Cardinals, uh, which I think is an interesting move by the Cardinals. But if you want to hear my thoughts on that one, link will be in the description down below for that video. But thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next one.